Good morning everybody! It's me again, Chris Bag Lady and little Ruby. And we're not late, but we just don't like Mondays, do we? Monday, Monday, no, I like I'm tired, but I'm actually not. It's just makeup. <laughs> oh yeah, we never rubbed your eyes again, did we? No. Oh. Right, anyway, we need to get to school. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to school we go. <laughs> Why? Because it's weird. We're not known. <laughs> They're dwarves, aren't they? They're like seven dwarves. They're not dwarves. <laughs> It's five to nine, we've made it home. And because the sun's out, I thought, right, I'm gonna quickly knit my dogs for a quick walk around the block. Um, I've put five and a half pounds on since Christmas. So I really need to sort myself out. So we're back on healthy eating today and obviously time to do a bit of exercise and stuff as well. So let's go for a quick early morning walk. Right, off we go. I must be mad. I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I'll have to think what we can have for breakfast while we walk. Made it back. Oh, it was cold on my little ears. My little ears are freezing. <laughs> anyway, but it was very refreshing, my little morning walk. It's a shame it's not sunny every morning so that you could do that first thing, but it often isn't. Anyway, so I'm just very busy. I'm rustling myself up some porridge. So I'm trying to eat stuff that I don't normally eat again to get myself back on track. So um, I need to lose about half a stone. So it's not a lot, but... Um, it's hard isn't it, when you're trying to get your head back into gear. So um, I'm very busy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm very busy rustling up some porridge. There's my little breakfast. I've got my porridge, and then I've got a tiny, and I mean tiny, little bit of jam in it, just to add, make you just to sweeten it up a tiny bit and spread some joy. Love this lid so much. Um, so I'm off to enjoy my porridge. Right, washing up done, uh, breakfast eaten, dishwash emptied. So now I'm looking at my wallpaper. So this is a little sample piece of my wallpaper, which has got giant bee on, which I'm going to do in my upstairs little toilet. Now I was going to paint the wall black. I've done a sample of black and now I'm thinking it's probably too dark. So I'm just looking at my little paint chart, see if there's anything else I could try instead. I just don't know if I can bring myself to paint all the walls black. I know it'll make a star statement, but I just feel it's going to be too dark. So I'm just looking if there's anything else I can try. Oh, smallest room in the house. And I cannot believe it's causing me such issues. <laughs> so it's got like a sloped ceiling that comes down. Um, and obviously it's got two little narrow walls. I'm going to change the toilet seat, obviously. So it's not going to be red or anything. I've thought about getting a gold toilet seat to match the gold of the bee. So the wallpaper's going on this wall as you first walk in but it's what colour to do the two other walls. I mean, I've got a big mirror going here, so that's gonna break it up as well, which will reflect the bees. Bits of me thinks I'll sod it, just get the black. And then there's other bits of me thinks I should maybe try and match like the gold and get like a goldy colour. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> I've never painted a room black. Um, I don't know if it might be a bit too harsh, although when I look on Instagram and stuff, when people do do rooms black, they look absolutely amazing. So I don't know. Right, lipstick of the day. So lipstick of the day, we've gone to the dark side of life. Ooh. So lipstick is a Revolution one, and it's a matte one, and the colour is, I don't know, because I'm too blind to see. <laughs> no, that's not the name of the colour. The colour is, vampire god i can only just read it look how small that is i don't think my camera would even pick that up but it's tiny the color is vampire um it's very dark uh it's like a dark reddy color but i like it for a change it's very different so 
Anyway, my dear, so I've just rung my local little fire and bowl paint supplier lady, who's absolutely wonderful. And I said to her, I'm scared to paint my walls black. I said, I want to try a lighter colour, I think. So she said, come and get a sample then. She said, but I promise you, you won't like it as much as the dark. So we're just going to nip to the fire and bowl shop and get a sample of the lighter colour so that we've got a comparison between dark and light paint. So without further ado, vampire lips, are you ready? Let's go! Right, I'm ready to go. So back of the day, I'm taking my Chanel one with me again. And then I've got my orange coat on. I've put a little Gucci boot on it. So let's go be a vampire in my orange coat. Let's go. Right, we're in the garden here. So off we go on our little painting adventure. <laughs> there is two charity shops near it because it's next door to Mix Mix where I go sometimes. Um, I might have a quick look in the shop. I shouldn't really because I'll probably end up buying another coat or something. <laughs> but uh, if I can walk past, I will. But if I can't, then we will nip in and have a quick look. But uh, off we go to look at the samples. I can't believe what a beautiful day it is. It's so lovely as you can see behind me. Look at the blue sky. It's so nice. Oh, the sunshine just makes you feel so much better. Like yesterday was so miserable. And this is just glorious. I love it. So off we go. Historically true, some people are griping. Yes. I've not... seen that. We went the other week. Oh, yeah, not, well, I've not seen that. that. I don't like war films. I only went because my husband wanted to go. Right. No, I haven't right. seen that. Amazing. Well, it's not bad. Mm. This is what a friend of mine went. Yeah. But no, 1972. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. But I'm Oh, they are switched on. Let me see one. All make all all the things got going. So she's already finished the picture. I said, yeah, but it's gone in. I've not got it, but I can show you a photo. Yeah, or... No. Uh, it's got to go to the council now for their approval. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not seeing it all coming in. Hi, I just say thank you.
back in the car. Oh, it's dropped a bit cold. The sun's nice, but whoo, it's a bit cold. Right, my dear. So, right, the time is now quarter to 12. So, let's go home. I'm ready for my dinner. So, I'll have a quick dinner when we get back, uh, test paint samples, and then see what else we can do. Let's go. Right, off we go. So, I'm just going to show you around this little tight corner. It's awful. I hate coming out of this car park. It's so difficult. So, goes down this little narrow bit and then you just have everything crossed that there's nothing else coming oh, and the potholes in the road are so awful right round we go it's a really tight corner Whoop. there's a little man walking Whoop. and not to knock him over right get down to the bottom oh, see what i mean it's really tight oh you're always glad when you get out of there Now I can't get out of here, it's too busy. Come on, let me out. No, I still can't get out. Now there's a big fat van coming. They're lovely, these little roads, but they are sort of narrow, so you have to have your wits about you. Spot the guard dog on the bed. <laughs> She's completely and utterly fast asleep. And obviously when I open the door, it's going to make a jump. <laughs> Bless her. Right, we're home. So I've tested my bits of paint. The lady in the shop said, paint like a, a back bit in as much black as you can. And then obviously the lighter colour, she said to give you an idea you know if you do like it or not obviously i've got to wait for it to dry so when it dries it won't be shiny so that's the dark and then that's the lighter one i've bought she said the lighter one won't show the wallpaper off as much which i know it won't as you can see it doesn't give as much sort of impact and she said the smaller rooms are better so if you do a small room dark she said it really shows it off so i'm kind of thinking maybe we should go with the dark um because I'm going to have a gold toilet seat and then a fancy like gold light thing up here. And it will be really fancy. Um, it's just the dark. I don't know if the dark scares me. Is anybody else painting any of their rooms really dark? Obviously, quite I'm quite a light person. But I see where she's coming from. Like I look at the light and I think, I don't think it really does it justice. But the only thing you could do, if you paint it light, we could have a black toilet seat maybe. Which would still incorporate like the black and the gold. So... I don't know, we'll see as it dries what it looks like. Right, I've come to have my dinner. And can you notice something? Oh, my blinds are up. All of them, and I haven't touched them. Ooh, I think a miracle has happened. <laughs> so every single one of my blinds is up. So somebody decided this morning to let the light in. So today, the light has come flooding in my house, so the blinds are up. Right, I'm pulling together like a little omelette thing for my dinner. But what I've done, because I needed the egg whites for a recipe for later, I thought, well, if I have eggs, I can use the yolk, so I'm not wasting any of the egg. So I've separated the yolk and the white. I've used the yolk in my little omelette thing, and the whites I'm going to save later for my recipe. Yay! So I'm just pulling it all together. I was going to have a tin of fish. And then I convinced myself to have something different. So that's why I've done this. Oh, there's my dinner. So I've got our little shopping mug. There's my little omelette thing, which I've poked some ham inside it and rolled it up with some tomatoes. So I have to enjoy it. Right, so I've just done a second coat on my little paint samples again. So as you can see, totally different ends of the paint colour spectrum. So we've got light, light and dark. So it's just a personal decision, I suppose. So... There's my little sample. So we'll have a look again when it's dry. So anyway, now back to my sewing room. <laughs> Stroke beauty room, whatever you want to call it. So um, that's the cabinet we built yesterday. And then we've squeezed it into that corner. But the trouble is, because this little cupboard here has got um, a handle on it, I can't open this drawer. So we're going to take this handle off and obviously put like a smaller one on it. But the trouble is, to get in that cupboard to take the handle off, we've got to move this. So I think I'm just going to try and do it myself and get on with it. So, right, let's move some furniture. Because obviously while it's empty, it doesn't weigh too much. So I'm going to see if I can shove it across. Right, I tried it with a smaller knob, but it still affected me opening this drawer. And 
my like boiler things in there we hardly ever have to go in there so i did a little test to make sure i could open the door with no knob on it and if i get a screwdriver in there i can open the door so i thought you know what i'm just gonna go knob free so i've took the knob off i'm not having a stupid knob <laughs> restricting me getting into a drawer so um the joys of having like no attic so this is like the room that comes off the attic so it's got like the water tank thing in there the boiler's in there with obviously the rest of my attic stuff but it just restricts everything with all these doors in this room it is horrible so anyway so i've took the knob off so i can use the drawer now so i can put some stuff in the drawer yay right i've started to put some jumpers in so because a few of you messaged me and said about trying the con marie uh, way of folding to see if it would help so i've managed to get four really fat jumpers across this way Perhaps if I pushed, I might get one more smaller jumper in, but I don't want to crush them too much. So I've got four fat jumpers that way. And I'm just going to see how many more I can fit in. So I can shut the drawer if I just push them down a little bit. She says, push it in a bit more. There you go. So they're in. And fingers crossed it makes them easier to pick as well in the morning. So let's get some more in that drawer. jeans that is a game changer look at that that's so perfect so i can see all my jeans so the ones below i've just chucked in and again you can't see what's at the bottom so the ones that you've come refolded you can see each style and color so that is absolutely brilliant Ooh. it's a bit more difficult with my jumpers because they're so fat <laughs> Um, but definitely with my jeans it's been amazing so i just need to do these but i'm just going to go and put the kettle on so i can have a quick cup of coffee before i fetch ruby that's my coffee made so i've got half an hour till i've got to fetch ruby back from school i'm still taking my cbd is that the right name oil um i'm not sure how i feel i feel a bit strange like i don't feel as anxious i definitely don't feel as anxious but then i feel weird because i don't feel anxious because i'm so used to feeling anxious if that makes sense so i'm gonna stick with it i'm gonna still keep taking it but i certainly i do feel a lot calmer but then my brain sort of thinks oh why don't you feel panicky <laughs> so it makes me feel a bit strange if that makes sense at all to anybody but anybody else that does suffer a bit with like stress and stuff do you get like that like if it's because it's been so normal to feel so stressed that because i don't feel stressed i feel strange I don't know but anyway so it definitely takes the edge off it definitely does help with feeling sort of anxious and stressed but then my brain's panicking because I'm not feeling stressed so I don't know but we're gonna stick with it and see how it goes anyway so that's my little update so far and again like I always say it's raining <laughs> it's raining I'm just hoping it stops before we go on school run but at the minute, it's just started to rain. Ugh, blooming weather. All right, quick cup of coffee and a handful of grapes, not many. So I'm just gonna have these and then we need to get on school run. I'm in the car, I'm running late. So I was faffing about trying to find my scarf because <laughs> it's raining, it's horrible. So right, we need to go, I was gonna be late. Let's go, woohoo. We've got it. We had a good day. Yes. Yes. It's cold now, isn't it? Yes. Ooh, let's go home. Right, I've made it home. So for my mental health and my keep fit, I'm going on a cross trainer. I really can't bother and I've got a bit of a headache and I'm really tired and I just feel like that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm making myself go on it because if you've paid your gym membership or whatever, you would go on it. So right, let's get on a cross trainer. I'm trying a different programme on it today. So I thought that might inspire me a bit, but this one might be a bit harder by the looks of it, so I'm not sure. So let's get on a harder program. So as you can see, it starts off small and then the bigger blocks are the harder bit. So, oh, right, let's go. <laughs>
done it. Yeah. Right, so I've done 24 minutes, 10 seconds and 200 calories. So this program wasn't quite as good because normally I can do 200 calories in 22 minutes. So, but it felt like it was harder work. So I don't know, but I've done it. Right, before I go for my quick bath, I'm just uh, starting to prepare my tea. So tonight I'm having like, I think it's called salt and pepper chicken. So you have to make your bread into breadcrumbs, mix my egg that was left over from this morning with some tomato puree, some chopped chicken chunks. So you literally put the chicken in there rub it in there and put it on a baking tray and shove it in the oven. It's very nice. Right, the bath is run. So I'm just going to lower this in. I'm not quite sure what it does on it, if it just smells nice. I think it's or whether it's soap. I don't know. We don't know, do we, Ruby? Where's the instruction thing? I can't remember. There's a sheet somewhere that tells you what it does. It smells really nice. I think you kind of just let it float in the water. Tell me yeah, it does. I can well. smell it. Yeah, we'll find someone else to put in as well, but that smells really nice. Mm. Oh, right, I didn't add anything else to the bath. We just enjoyed it with a little um, plaque thing that melted. It was really nice. It smelled absolutely beautiful. So we had a re lovely relaxing bath. It was so nice. So now I'm ready for my tea. So there's my chicken stuff that I've already cooked in the oven for 20 minutes. So I'm just doing some stir fry. And then obviously I'll put the chicken in with the stir fry and stir fry a bit as well. And then I'll enjoy it. It's so nice. And there's my little tea. So I've actually not used all the chicken. There was quite a bit of chicken left over. So there's my little tea. So I have to enjoy it. it looks really nice. Ah, I forgot to show you. So today I bought from the second hand shop a lovely little jumper. It's a bit short, but I thought if I wear a vest top underneath, it'll be all right. And it's the most lovely shade of green. And then it had also got like little shoulder pad bits built into it. And I just loved it. I like green. It's really nice. And then Postman came. Pugs and kisses, it says on the back. <laughs> I think I know what this might be. I think it's from the lovely Susan who sent me some similar books. I think this is what it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. It says, Jane, a few similar books for you, and I got them from my group. Enjoy cooking. Love Susan and Daisy. Oh, thank you so much. Is that so lovely? And they'll be so useful because obviously. I do follow Summer World most of the time. So that is absolutely lovely. Susan, thank you so much. It's lots of love to you and little Daisy, bless you. Thank you. All right, my dears. Final little vlog of the day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we've done a bit of testing paint and what else have we done? Quick shop to fetch the paint sample, cooking, cross trainer. Oh, yeah. And I might have got a parking ticket because where I parked today, I didn't realise they've got rid of the two hour free parking and introduced a new system where you have to pay. And obviously, I didn't pay. So I'm just hoping I haven't got a ticket. I didn't have one on my window screen, but I'm worried that it might have like an automated thing. I don't know if they have or not. So I've got to wait for the post to come. Oh, really sad because the parking fans are quite expensive so fingers crossed that I haven't got one because I didn't realise but hmm, that's not very nice but anyway my day my dears thanks for joining me so if you do enjoy life in England daily vlogs handbags shopping and whatever else we get up to then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady so I love you and leave you and I'll speak to you tomorrow